and blessed as we can be. We are not your ordinary. Tune in, watch and see, like and subscribe, and we'll blow your mind. Hey YouTube, it's your girl Miss Simmons from the Simmons family, and I'm here again with a banging meal. Today I'm making homemade meatloaf, homemade mashed potatoes, and some cream corn slash whole corn. So I'm gonna, I'm going to show you guys my little recipe on how I make mine. I want you guys to comment below and let me know how you guys like yours. Um, I use ketchup. I season it with seasoning salt. My Lipton soup mix cannot live without this, you guys. Um. Eggs and why um, I mix it all together and then I put it in a, um, a pan and then I put it in the oven. But while I'm mixing it, I mix everything together and I'm constantly adding um, ketchup inside. And I, I love ketchup in on mine, it's the only way that I ever tasted it. Um, I want you guys to comment below and let me know how you guys make yours. Do you guys make it with um, tomato paste, ketchup, or brown gravy? It's really no wrong or right way how to make me loaf. It's whatever your preference is. But I can tell you guys one thing. Miss Simmons, period, is the bomb. You know, I put the capital B, the capital O, the capital M, and the B in bomb when I cook my food. You understand? Your girl be throwing down these hands. I'm telling y'all, beats. Mixing stuff up, you heard me? Well, anyway, your girl about to start her meal, so I want to show you guys how I make this bomb meatloaf. And for the new, um, the new people to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because you guys don't want to miss me making these bomb dinners, you know? Because I'm telling you guys, going to get this, this bomb cooking. And then you go home and you know make the make the food for your family, you know, like I do for me, for mine. Well, anyway, let me stop doing all this jacket because you know I, you already know I think I'm the bomb in cooking, you know. So let me start off on what I first what I do first. Let's cut this down a little bit, you guys. Okay, let me get my. Uh, So what I do first is I grab this bowl. bowl right here and I got this big huge um hamburger meat and I want you guys to know I don't make my uh Meatloaf like a, a bread. I like mine flat like a cake and then it eventually shrinks into the um, loaf. So I'm gonna cut this because I'm gonna use the rest of the meat for something else. Which I know I'm about to bleach my counters because I don't have my um, cooking board out. And I just take all this meat and I uh, put it in here. Let me cut this real fast. Put this in here like this. And by the way, I like ground beef. Um, I don't like chuck, ground chuck. You guys can make it with any type of meat, turkey meat, chicken, ground beef, whatever you guys like too. But I like to use ground beef in the roll or the fresh ground beef at Walmart. And when I tell you guys to make your hands so gross, I, I, can, I always have to wash my hands, you guys. So you're going to see a lot of me washing my hands, getting all this gook um, off my hand. So I uh, make sure all my meat off. Okay. And then I take the seasoning salt. And I spray it, sprinkle it, I'm sorry, sprinkle it around a little bit. I take my ketchup. Actually, this is the new ketchup, so I have to open it. Two. 
And then I um, squirt this in here to make sure it's, you know, moist. I don't like dry um, meatloaf. This is, I cannot stand dry meatloaf. So I put a lot of ketchup, you guys. But I'm telling y'all, it's still the bomb. Don't let this make y'all think like, good is nasty. Y'all need to try it. Try it, y'all. Try it, I'm telling you. And I spray, you know, put a little bit of this in there. And then I also get um, some um, breadcrumbs. The um, breadcrumbs. They like make it stick together. You guys can use um, crackers, crumbled up crackers. You guys can get a, um, off the loaf of bread and crumble it up. But I like to buy the breadcrumbs from uh, Walmart. And I just, it don't have no flavor in there. So I just, you know, pour it in there so it won't be falling apart. And then I um, take the eggs and put a couple eggs in here. I put about three eggs, three to four eggs. Depending on how big it is. And then, um, like this is a large amount, so I'm going to put the four. Sometimes, you guys, I drop a little eggshell, so don't uh, just get it out. And this is the part that I hate. And I just start, you know, mixing it together. And I'm gonna uh, keep adding ketchup in here and um, a little bit of seasoning salt because you know once I start mixing all this stuff up, it's not gonna be enough seasoning. So this is how I make mine. Don't forget you guys to comment below and let me know how you guys make yours. I'm gonna add some more ketchup and some more seasoning sauce. So I'm about to re I'm gonna rewash my hands because it's terminated now. So let me wash my hands and add some more ketchup and stuff. Okay, so um, I'm about to add more ketchup and a little seasoning salt um, to this. And maybe just a little bit of more hamburger meat to this. Just so I'll make sure I didn't over to the eggs here. Just a little bit more like this. Make sure I'm touch it. So then I add just a little bit more ketchup. A little bit more seasoning salt so that I want to make sure that all the meat is getting the exact same season so it won't seem like some ain't seasoned and some is so I just do this for a couple couple minutes just to make sure everything is done right I want you guys to also comment below and let me know what you guys like with your um with your um, meatloaf? What kind of vegetables? What do you guys cook with your meatloaf? Um, and then I also want you guys to comment below and let me know, what do you guys want me to cook next? I'm willing to try, even if I don't eat it, I'm willing to try, um, I'm willing to try new foods. So you guys see how, like now the, um, the eggs is not showing. Um, none of the seasoning salt, the ketchup. So it's actually, you know, getting into the meat. Yeah, I like, um, I usually cook a box of macaroni as well because my younger kids don't really like mashed potatoes. So, um, I usually um, 
I'm done washing my hands again. I gotta add just a little bit more ketchup to it. I just want to make sure that it's not dry. Um, my, my younger kids really don't like um, potatoes, so I make a box of macaroni for them. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm about to um, put my oven on 350. And um, to heat up, preheat up. So I can start putting the meatloaf in the oven. Cut the oven off for me. The oven. Oh my. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna um, erase that part. Okay, so yeah, I'm about to cut my oven on and um put it on 350 so I can preheat. Okay, so this is done. So what I do now is I um, grab the pan and um, and put the the meat in here. So I put it in here. And so how I do it is I just pour it in here like this. And I make sure all the meat is off the pan. And I just, you know, make sure so the meat won't be too thick. I hate thick meat. I do not like my meat thick. None of my meat, no pork chops or anything. So I just do this. Put like a little cake or you can say like cornbread or whatever, how you want to, you know, say this look like. And then I um, cook it a little bit. And then that's when I start adding my ketchup um, in it. And you know, of course you know that ground beef makes its own oil. So when it gets too oily, what I do is I pour a little of it out. So that it won't um, start breaking apart and getting too oily. I don't pour it all the way out because I don't like it to be dry. I cannot stand dry. I love moist meatloaf, so make sure that um, it's not too dry. So I keep some of the oil, you know, some of it in. I just make sure that it's perfectly flattened out. And here it is. That's how I like my meatloaf. And then once it starts shrinking, of course, it's going to look like a meatloaf then. So then now that I'm done with that, I'm going to wash my hands again. And so now that I'm washing my hands, I'm about to... Um, Put my um, put my meatloaf inside of um, the oven, and then I'm gonna start peeling my potatoes. I love um, homemade potatoes. Okay, so now I'm gonna put it in my oven. So once it start getting half done, um, what I do is I start adding ketchup and spreading it on there. And then um, I, call, I do that a couple times just to make sure that it's done, you know, make sure it's moist. And I love, like I said, ketchup on mine. So I add ketchup a couple times, I, um, spread it there like. So now that my meat is in my um, oven, I um, grab the potatoes and I start peeling the potatoes. Um, into squares so that I can make it homemade. So, um, I peel like almost a 10 pound bag. Um, I have a couple left in there. And I know you guys probably like, oh my God, you're cutting uh, half of the dango potato, but I like my potatoes to be brown. I mean, no brown on them. And so I cut them until I see no brown, even if that's half of the potato. So 
So yeah, that's how I cook mine. So then after I'm done with my potatoes, I just like cut it down like this. And um, kind of cut them in squares or by, you know, like this. And um, no matter how big they, cause they're gonna, they're gonna um, shrink anyway, get soft and be small anyway. So this is um so I just prep these and when that uh when the when the meatloaf is halfway done is when I put my um my potatoes inside of the water with um salt and butter and then once the potatoes is done that's when I start adding my milk salt pepper and butter to it um so that's how I make my homemade potatoes. Let me comment below and let me know how you guys like your potatoes. Do you like your potatoes the way I'm making them? Or do you put cheese in yours? Like, let me know how you guys make your potatoes. Do you guys make instant potatoes out the box? Um, do you guys make cheesy potatoes? Just, you know, just comment below and let me know how you guys make your potatoes. So this is how I make mine though. So I'm at my last three potatoes. So I'm going to um, just sit these in water. What I do is I let them soak in water. I clean them and then I let them soak in water until the uh, meatloaf is halfway done. And then that's when I put the potatoes on. And I, I really want to try new recipes. So if you guys have a good recipe that you guys want me to try, please comment below. Um, I really want to start trying new foods because I'm telling you, I cook the same food over and over again that I'm used to cooking. But I want to try new foods. I literally just bought a recipe book, so I'm going to look in there and start trying new food. The only thing that I don't want to cook is seafood because I don't like seafood. But if you guys want me to cook seafood, I mean, I can. Um, two of my kids in here in the house like seafood, so I guess I can make it and they can eat it. But I don't eat seafood, but I'm willing to try like anything else, any soul food, any type of food. I just don't like seafood. So this is my last um, potato. So, after, like I said, after this, I'm going to start cleaning them. And then I'm going to soak them and let them soak in the water until the meatloaf is almost done. So, again, I just like cut them in squ like with little squares or whatever. And then that's it. So now I'll start washing them. Okay, so now I'm about to check on the meat um, to see if it's almost done. But you guys see that it's not. So like I just said before, I'm going to pour a little of this oil out. Um, all the excess oil you guys see, I'm going to pour a little bit of that out. Um, this is when I start adding my ketchup. So I pour a little bit of it out. Um, this is when I start adding my ketchup to it. And I just spread it on top like this. So this is also when I start um, adding the ketchup and then I put the uh, water on for my potatoes. And so then I'll take a um, knife, a butter knife, or any type of knife. And I'll start just spreading the ketchup onto the uh, meatloaf to make sure, uh, you know, all of it has some. And I'll apply ketchup to this a few times. So 
it'll um, soak into the meat. So, um, this is just the first layer of ketchup, but I make sure all the meat has ketchup on it. The same way for you guys that I guess like gravy or but um or um can, um tomato paste. I know some of you guys wait till it's um until it's done and apply it, but I like mine to actually soak in there by cooking inside and cooking into the ketchup. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get a pot out and put um, water, water and um, butter and salt to start my potatoes. So now what I'm going to do is add um, a little bit of salt, a little bit of salt to the uh, water. And, um, I only start off with a half a stick of butter or I use the, um, the one in the tub as well. But today I'm using the one as, you know, this the stick one. So what I do is I, um, I just use the half of a stick of butter just so when it's almost done, I can put the rest of the butter inside of the pot. And then once the water starts boiling, you guys can put it in now or you can wait till the water starts boiling. I prefer for the water to start boiling. And then that's when I pull my um, potatoes in there. Okay, so now that the um, water is boiling, I'm going to pull the potatoes. Um, in the water so this is how I do mine this water is hot you guys <laughs> so yeah this is how I do mine I just pour all the um, potatoes in the water And then I just wait till they get soft. I drain them and um, I drain them and then that's when I put them back in the bowl. And then I uh, put the, I um, smush them up. And then that's when I um, add the, the um, butter, the milk, the salt and pepper um, to it. So this is how I make my potatoes. So I'm going to stir these um, potatoes up just to, you know, make sure they're not sticking. See how soft they're getting, which they are still pretty hard. And then I'm going to check the um, the meatloaf just so I can apply um, more ketchup to it. You guys see how it's shrinking? It got added more oil, but here go the, uh, it shrunk more. So I'm about to add um, more ketchup to it. And this probably be the last because it's not breaking up like it usually do. So I don't have to add that much um, ketchup. Like I do, I usually add like three times, but I guess this time I can just add it with two times. I just try to put it everywhere so that it don't be dry. Sorry about that, you guys. I had to get the knife. So yeah, I just spread it over and then um, that's pretty much it. I want you guys to see how it's looking. It's not done yet, but this is how it look. Almost done. So now I'm about to put it back in the oven. 
And again, you know what, you guys? Sorry I'm using my wash these towels because my mittens are um, dirty. I have to wash them again. And all the other um, mittens and things that I use, I wash, I'm washing them right now. So the next time you guys see me cooking, I will be having my mittens. I have my mittens on my hand, but right now I'm gonna use these. I'm sorry, they look a little ghetto, but it's okay. So they're getting washed to be clean. Okay, so the food is um, almost done now. Um, the potatoes is real soft. So, and then I'm gonna check on the meat, the, um, the, uh, the bomb. Bam, meatloaf is done. So I'm gonna take it out the oven and I'm going to pull some of the um, juice out so it won't be dry, just a little bit so it won't be too moist, but it's done, you guys. And when I say it's about to be tasting good, bam, bam, tasting good. So I'm about to get ready, um, take it out. And then in the meantime, while I'm getting ready to take it out, I'm about to uh, put my corn in here. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of butter in the pot. And then I'm going to pour, pour the cans of uh, cream corn in here. And then after I do that, I have four cans of cream corn. And then um, I have, which this is the cream corn I just put in there. And then now I'm going to put the whole sweet corn in there. Pop these open. I'm going to pour this juice out. Do you guys like juice? the juice in yours? Because I like pouring mine out. Let me know, um, comment below and let me know if you guys like um, the juice of the corn in yours. I like mixing my two corns together and I like it, the whole corn to be dry. So I uh, pour all the juice out. Um, just let me know you guys, how you guys like yours. Cause like I said, I like mine to be out. Um, on the last can, I leave a little juice in there, but the sugar, going to um is going to you know make its own juice so that's why i pour it out because of it's already going to make its own juice so i pour the majority of it out so for the last one and then the last one i leave just a little juice in there so so that's how I do mine. And I didn't forget, I didn't forget about my um, meatloaf. I'm just doing this first. It's not like it's gonna burn. I didn't forget about it. So this is the last can that I was saying, so it's a little juice in there. You see the juice coming out? So that's how I do mine. And then I um, add a little sugar, and then that's when I start stirring it up. Add a little sugar to it. Um, I just add just a tip, a tap bit, a little bit more um, butter. Because like I said, you know, it's butter um, at the bottom. So I just add a little bit more at the top. And then I, um, so then I start stirring up, you know, the corn. And stir it up so it can all be together. And then I'm gonna cut the, the eye on. Yeah, not pot may be a little bit too little, but we'll work it out. Probably made too much corn this time. I just I don't even know why I make this much corn because all the kids is not even eating um the meatloaf. It's gonna be actually two meals cooked today in this home. So 
I don't even know why I made all this corn, but oh well. So yeah, this is how I made my corn. Mixed up. And now I'm about to get ready to um, take the meatloaf. The meatloaf out. So, I'm going to place my meatloaf right here. I'm going to place my meatloaf right here while it's cooling off. So, now I'm about to get the meatloaf out. And then I'm going to drain, drain it. So I drain it, uh oh y'all, <laughs> I drain it like this, and then this is how the results of the meatloaf, so the meatloaf look uh, once it's done, it look delicious, see how moist that is, the ketchup is cooked inside the meat, yes you guys, I'm telling you it's going to be so good. This is how I like mine. And again, like I said, comment below and tell me how you guys cook yours. Do you cook it in a loaf? A loaf way? Or do you guys cook it um, in a cake way or whatever way you cook it? Just let me know how you cook it. And this is how I cook mine. So now I'm stirring up the potatoes. The potatoes is done. They're soft. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take them to the um, sink and drain it. So now I'm about to drain the potatoes. Okay, sorry, last time it was from the um the meatloaf. So I'm just gonna drain the potatoes like this. So I drain them. Rinse them off, and then I put them in a bowl like this. And put them in there. Yeah, I didn't make um a lot of uh, potatoes like I thought I was going to because um all the kids is not eating now, so. I made less potatoes, but I shouldn't have even made all that corn. Oh well. And pepper. I put the milk in there and I just add more stuff as I go. And I'm used to making way more potatoes than this. I usually make, like I said, a 10 pound bag, but the kids said they wasn't all eating. So eating all the, um, eating meatloaf. Some of the kids, the older kids are making themselves some other food. So this is really gonna be for the younger kids. So I didn't have to make a lot of um, potatoes. See how that whipped that up, y'all? Whip, whip. That grip game is serious, y'all. Y'all see this? Y'all see me just whip this up, right? Yeah, y'all gonna have to y'all gonna have to come to my house and see this, taste some of this banging food because period. It just be the bomb. Oh man. Y'all see this? See how I whipped that up, y'all? Whip game, sis, period, sis. Yep. Okay. So this the last of it is the pepper. I got the pepper in there. I got the uh, salt. And then 
then I have the milk. And actually, you know, you guys already saw me put the butter in there, so. Okay, you guys, so now the corn is done. So I'm about to start making my um, our plates. And I already know it's going to be good because uh, Miss Simmons is the one that made it. So I know all this is going to be good. Licking fingers good. Period. Period, y'all. Licking fingers. I'm saying everything I cook, I put my foot in it, y'all. Foot in it, y'all. Okay, so I'm about to make my plate. See how that's falling apart, y'all? Look at that. Look at that. Y'all see that? Yes. Moist. Moist, y'all. Yes. Moist. Okay, you guys. So now I just um, made my little small portion. Y'all see this? Mmm. <laughs> Y'all, I promise you, I'm one of the people to tell you if the food is nasty, it's nasty. But this right here, y'all want to see a close-up on how moist this is? Hold on, y'all. Look how moist that is. Look, just look how look, look how moist that is. Just look. Mm. Look how just look how moist this is. Oh my gosh! Just look. Look at that. You see how moist that is? Done and all. Just so moist. I hate dry um, meatloaf. This right here. See how that's... Mm. Man, this is so good. I just want to smack my mama. Pow! That's how good it is. You know? Pow! Mama's so good. This is some good stuff, y'all. But anyway... I want to thank you guys for giving me the opportunity on YouTube, how you guys are subscribing to us, um, commenting below, following me, just giving us an opportunity to grow on YouTube. I love making YouTube channels. And again, if you guys are new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my, um, to my channel. Until next time, peace out.